Happy days, my fantastic artistic numismatic friends. Welcome back. I'm glad you could join us today. It's Good Friday, it's Easter, so happy Easter. I hope you're enjoying lots of lots of Easter eggs out there. I know I am. Okay, so we're going to do a nice little painting on this canvas, a little bit of a nod to Easter, and it's called The Passion of Christ. Passion in Latin means to suffer, and it's the story of the crucifixion, basically. And we're going to talk a little bit about that later on. I'm going to read a little bit of a biblical story. So, before we get on with that, though, the, the colours that we're going to be painting with today are lots of different kinds of yellows. We're going to use cadmium yellow, a bit of lemon hue. We're going to use Indian yellow, burnt sienna, ivory black and titanium white. The canvas is triple primed and coated in liquid white. That's all. That's easy done. All right. Now, before we get on with all that lot, serious business time, we're nearly at a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe, give me that subscription. That would be fantastic. You'll appreciate that when we get to a thousand because there's a monster giveaway. I've got things I've made like little coin statues. If you know, you know, paintings, collectible coins, big coins I've made. They're all going in there. So, so, so get subscribed if you want. Right. I'm going to leave it now. I'm going to read that nice little biblical story and I'll see you on to the side. Happy days. At the height of his ministry and miracles, many Jews came to believe in Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of God. Jewish leaders feared Jesus because of his growing followers. With the help of Judas, Roman soldiers arrested Jesus and he was put on trial for claiming to be the king of Jews. And according to Roman law, the punishment for rebellion against the king was death by crucifixion. The Roman governor, Pilate, was reluctant when it came to the punishment of Jesus. Jesus was an innocent man, but they also had other prisoners in Pilate's custody. At the time, they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Barabbas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he knew it was out of self-interest that they had handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting in the judge's seat, his wife sent him a message. Don't have anything to do with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. Which one of the two do you want me to release to you? asked the governor. Barabbas, they all replied. What shall I do with Jesus, who is called Messiah? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they all shouted louder, Crucify him! When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but an uproar was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It is all your responsibility. All the people answered, His blood is on us and all our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led Jesus into the palace. They called over other soldiers and gave Jesus a purple robe to put on. They also twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. They all began to call out, Hail, King of the Jews! And again and again they struck him on the head with staffs. They spat on him. They fell to their knees and mockingly paid homage to him. When they had finished mocking him, they took off the purple robe and gave Jesus his own clothes to put on. They led him out of the palace and away to be crucified. Along the way, a certain man from Siren called Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way home from the country. They forced Simon to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to a place 
called Golgotha, which is the place of the skull. The soldiers offered Jesus a mixture of wine and myrrh, which would have given off a pleasurable effect, but Jesus refused to take it. So the soldiers set him on the cross and crucified him. They divided up his clothes and clustered lots to see which each would get. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him above his head read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of Jews. They crucified him with two rebels, one to his right side and one to his left side. Those who passed by hurled insults at Jesus, shaking their heads and saying, So you are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days? Come down and save yourself. They mocked Jesus in the same way as the lawmakers and the chief priests had done. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down from the cross, that we may see and we may believe. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at Jesus. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal revoked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until about three in the afternoon. But the sun had stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last breath. The ground began to shake, and the tombs of past saints began to open, and their bodies raised from the dead. A soldier, a centurion, who witnessed this event, said, Surely this is a righteous man and the Son of God. Near the cross stood Jesus' mother, his mother's sister, and Mary Magdalene. The crucifixion of Jesus was part of God's plan from the very beginning, from the birth of Jesus to the very end. The sin of mankind would require a sacrifice. The sinless life of Jesus was lived and given up so that man could receive salvation and eternal life in heaven. Well, there we have it, folks, the story of the crucifixion. How did you find it? Did you listen to it? Let me know in the comments, folks. Okay, so we're just going to plough on and I'll talk a little bit more about the painting and, and things coming up. Okay, so the, the cross itself, we've painted in black and we're just highlighting a little bit, a little bit of black here and there, just, just, just neatening up the edges. And we thin down the paint with a little bit of paint thinner. And then I think we'd we'll, we'll better paint Jesus Christ on the cross as well. So we'll get round to that. In next week's video, we've got an absolutely cracking waterfall. It's absolutely immense. Purple hills and a big, big waterfall. It's, it's different from the waterfalls that I've done before. So stick around and stay tuned for that. If you do like my painting videos, we did the masters paint the masters and we did some absolutely belting paintings on there so so go check them out we've got some absolutely cracking coin videos coming up as well we've found some absolutely amazing coins in exchange so they'll be coming up next week as well yeah definitely some of the best coins i've found this year in Tilgrade's truly epic right on top here we're just painting in the little charge notice that would be above jesus's head it would have said on there as well I-N-R-I, which would be uh, Jesus of Nazareth, King of Israel. Obviously in, 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 uh, in Latin text. So, we'll just put in the silhouette of Jesus. So really thin, 
black paint on the script liner brush and we thinned it down with paint thinner and this cross is on a, a slight angle so you won't be able to see the whole of of, um, of the corpse of Jesus but uh, you will see little bits of uh, little bits of um, the body just like that it'll pick up some of that under color as well so you may get a, a slight variant of, of tone in there but that's that's okay yeah back to back to the giveaway the big giveaway so like I've said before the channel is nearly won 17th of April it's won and I'm hoping to do the giveaway round about that time either for the first birthday or for the thousand subscribers or if we combine it in both we'll do something mega absolutely belting I can't wait for it alright so yeah so we just worked on that there just like so and if you do give this painting a try tag me in a picture I'd love to see it I really would happy days there we go there we go we're just neaten that up now let's dry the brush out and I think we're about done one thing I, I forgot to mention is that I did mask off the whole of the border and the little cross I should have mentioned that at the beginning but uh, but you, I'm sure you could have seen that so we'll whip the masking tape off so we'll whip the edging off and everything I'm just neating it up there with a little bit of a ground brush just just to, just to smarten it up a little bit so let's get rid of the masking tape boom there we go so that's the finished painting let's just sign it down in the bottom so if you like this one give it a big thumbs up leave me a nice comment have a very very well i'm gonna say merry then but just have a very happy easter and all the best till next time my fantastic friends take care of the sen see you all later